Welcome to Density Part 2. Let's pick up where we left off. You've already seen that an object's density stays the same, even if you cut the object in half or chop it up into a million small pieces. But there are two things that will cause an object's density to change. Changing the temperature of the object or changing the amount of pressure acting on the object. When you heat up most materials, the molecules expand and spread out. This makes the density decrease because if the molecules spread out, it means they're less tightly packed. When most materials are cooled, the opposite happens. When you lower an object's temperature, the molecules contract and move closer to each other. This causes the object to become more dense because now the matter is more tightly packed. You already know that most types of matter can be found in three phases on the Earth, solids, liquids, and gases. Materials are most dense when they're solids and least dense when they're gases. Think about a piece of solid metal. When you find metal as a solid, the molecules and atoms are tightly packed together. But if you heat the metal up and it starts to melt, it will expand. So since it's expanding, it means the molecules are less tightly packed. And that's why liquid metal is less dense than solid metal. This is true of all materials on Earth except for one. And that one material is water. When water freezes, it actually becomes less dense as a solid. You can see evidence of this when you put ice cubes into water. The ice cubes float, so that means that solid water, or the ice cubes, is less dense than liquid water. Again, water is the only substance on Earth that works that way. Changing the amount of pressure acting on an object also impacts its density. Pressure is a squeezing force. If you put more pressure on something, you're squeezing its molecules closer to each other. You're compacting them, so the density will increase. If you lower the pressure on an object, the molecules will be able to expand and spread apart, so the object becomes less dense. Density is one of the major themes that we'll be exploring throughout the year because it impacts the Earth in so many different ways. Density is actually responsible for creating wind, creating ocean currents. It's responsible for creating the Earth's layers, crust, mantle, core, and so on. It causes the Earth's tectonic plates to move, and as a result, that creates earthquakes, volcanoes, tsunamis. It creates patterns of sediment when sediments are deposited, and many other things that we'll be exploring this year. Created using Powtoon.